A few weeks ago, we updated our Verizon file service plan here at home, and now I'm getting 300 megabits per second internet speeds, which is obviously awesome, but in order for me to actually get those internet speeds wirelessly, I'm having to use my own access point. Now, in the process, we also got updated TV set-top boxes. Now, this is the new Verizon Fios One TV set-top box. Now, this set-top box does have a few improvements over the old set-top boxes. First off, it is much smaller. It's also much snappier, so whenever you're navigating through the menus, everything just moves quicker. And it also comes included with this new minimalist remote, which is much smaller than the outgoing remote. It has much clickier buttons, and you can also do this. Watch Comedy Central. Now that's awesome. But what isn't so awesome is that I did notice there was some latency going on whenever I was trying to watch TV while using an external soundbar. Now, whenever I would watch Netflix or YouTube videos while using the soundbar, there was no latency whatsoever. It was actually pretty awesome. But then when I tried watching TV with the soundbar, some type of latency would form after a few minutes of watching TV. Now, just so that we're all on the same page, I'm using a Samsung 7 Series 4K a smart TV with a JBL soundbar, which for transparency, JBL did send this out for review, so expect a video on this in a few days or so. Now again, so that we're all on the same page, the Verizon Fios set-top box is hooked up to the TV via the HDMI 1 port, and the soundbar is hooked up to the TV via the HDMI 3 port, because that's where your R connection is. Now, if this is your first soundbar, if you want to get the best performance out of your new soundbar, it's in your best interest to use the HDMI out port found on the soundbar and hook it up either into your receiver or directly into the TV if you don't have a receiver. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably tried calling Verizon Fios technical support and they unfortunately couldn't help. And so then you tried messing around with all of the audio settings found on the TV, soundbar, and Verizon Fios set-top box, and unfortunately, nothing worked. Until I realized there was a secret menu found on the Verizon file set-top box. Now, in order to get into the secret menu, what you want to do is you want to grab your Verizon file set-top box control and you're going to hit power and then OK twice. So it's going to be power, OK, OK, in that, in that order. So we're just going to give it a try. Power, OK, OK. And this is what you want to see. Don't worry, we didn't break it. This is good. Now we're going to get this controller and we're going to click on left. We're going to scroll down to user settings and then we're going to scroll down to additional HDMI settings and then we're going to go to where it says audio output. Now this is going to be for you set on auto. You're going to want to switch this over to LPCM and click OK. You're going to click exit and then we're going to power on the set-top box again. And that's how you fix any audio latency issues while trying to watch TV while using an external soundbar. Now, I know this video is very different from the types of videos that I usually make, and it's probably going to help a very small portion of people. But I've been dealing with this issue for almost a week now, and it just this audio latency would just drive me insane anytime I was trying to watch TV. And it was a hair pulling process trying to fix this issue because everything that I did just didn't work. So remember, all you got to do is click power, OK, OK, and then you're going to get access to that secret menu. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video. So hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick any of the products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below. And you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.